Welcome to Slaying Excel Dragons video number 22. Hey, these videos accompany this book, and we're still talking about chapter 5. Here's for video 22, we're going to talk about averaging without zeros, and we're going to see two great solutions the average if function and a great find and replace trick. All right, let's go over to our workbook. We're in the workbook Excel is Fun Start, which of course you can download from the link below the video. We're going to start on the sheet Functions 1. Now, we just used this sheet for our last video talking about future value function, but I want to scroll down here. Scroll down, and I'm going to click in cell B29. Now, here's the deal. We have a bunch of scores. And in this cell, I'm going to hit F2. Okay, so average is looking at all those numbers and calculating an average. Now, it's actually calculating an arithmetic mean, which means it adds them all up and divides by the count. But you suspect, you're not so sure about how this function works, and you suspect that the zeros might be causing a problem, and you don't know how the average function treats those zeros. So what do you do? Well, there's a couple things you could click, like we did last video, click on this insert function. It opens up the average um, functions argument dialog box and click on that help. I'm going to click escape, F2, or totally awesome, if you have your cursor right here, this is a hot link. This is inside, this is a screen tip. That's a hot link. If you click on it, it opens up help directly. And so we'll go in help, how average treats zeros. Okay, so there's some uh, basic descriptions. Talks about the syntax, the arguments, and I don't see anything there. Remarks are usually filled with really good information. You know, so as you read through, you finally ah, uh, you hit on number three. If the range or uh, if the range or cell reference arguments contain text, logical values, or empty cells, those values are ignored. Well, we don't have any text. We don't have any logical values. Ah. And we don't have any empty cells either. Hmm. Read on. However, cells with value 0 are included. Ding, ding. There's our answer. So the average function, actually, if you have a 0 in the cell, it includes it in the calculation. It adds it and includes it as a count in the denominator for the average calculation. So really what we want to do is maybe change those zeros to empty cells. And we'll see a great trick to do it quickly. Ah, but what if? You want to keep the zeros, and some people want zeros in the cells. Um, so if you keep reading down, this last bullet says if you want to calculate the average of only values that meet certain criteria, use the average if. Well, we've seen some criteria in this book so far in the videos. We could do something like not zero. So there's two solutions we're going to see here. People that don't don't mind taking the zeros out, we'll see a great trick for that. And then for people that like to have the zeros in, we'll see how to use the average if. All right, I'm going to close this. I'm going to click Escape. Now I'm going to highlight all these. And we would like to use the keyboard shortcut to open up Find. There's actually a keyboard shortcut for Find and for Find and Replace. And I always just remember the one for Find because it's easy from find to get to replace. It's control F. Actually on the home ribbon, if you go over here, it's there's find and replace. Control F. Control F is great because it works everywhere in Word and PowerPoint and Google. Alright, so once you open up find, you can then say replace. Now actually, we don't need to replace anything here. All we need to do is find because we want to find all the zeros instantly. It'll This feature can highlight them all and then we'll hit the delete key. So I'm just going to type a zero. Ah, but I got to go over here because right now, if we had any cells like with 80 with a zero in it, it'd find those too. So I'm going to click Options and I'm going to say Match Entire Cell Contents. Match Entire Cell Contents. And I'm going to say uh, Find All. And instantly, it opens up this bottom part to the Find. Now you could expand this and look and see there's a bunch, but you don't really need to. All you need to do is as soon as that opens up, the keyboard shortcut for select all is control A. And instantly it highlights all of them. So let me do that in fast motion again. So I highlight all this, control F, I type a zero, I open this, click match contents, find all, 
control A. You can see instantly it highlights them in this sheet. Now I can close this. And now the keyboard shortcut for delete is the delete key. And look at that. Instantly when we do that, now the average function is calculating correctly. All right. I uh, teach at Highline Community College and I have worked on many people's grade books here at Highline and some people don't want it blank and some people want it zero. They're like, nope, I want a zero in that cell. So here is the solution for averaging and skipping over the zeros. We'll use the average if function. Now there's a few different averages. We'll take the average if. Now so far in this class we've seen sum ifs and count ifs or count if, right? For all those functions it means sum count average with some condition. Anytime you see the if it means some condition. S means you can have more than one condition. Okay, so I'm going to select this uh, average if. The range, the scores right above, and then the criteria. Now, all we're going to need are our range, and we could put in this one right here, but our range for the that contains the criteria and the numbers for averaging are the same. So that's the only uh, column we need there. And then we need to put in criteria. Now, not. We saw a, we haven't used the not criteria symbol yet, but we did see it earlier in a table of comparative operators. It is, and we have to put it in double quotes. You got to type a less than and then a greater than less than greater than. That means not in Excel. And then guess what? We're just going to type a zero and a close parenthesis. Now we've always put our numbers in cells and then referred to them with cell references, but again this is one of those situations where this isn't going to change. This isn't a number that changes. Uh, you know when you're averaging the only number you're ever going to want to skip over is uh, zero in this particular case here. So it's perfectly alright to hard code that into the formula. Close parentheses and control enter. In both cases, we get the same answer using slightly different uh, formulas or uh, find and replace and then get rid of the, uh, the zeros trick. All right, we'll see you next video.